All right, guys, we're back on the 38 Top Gun project. Starting to work through some of the paint, some of the stress cracks. Got some areas marked off here, you know, as you can see with the marker. Um, going through, I mean, this, this boat's got, we, we didn't know what it was. It had a lot of this cracking in it. Um, you know, I knew it when I bought it. Uh, we crawled through the whole boat rigorously, couldn't find any structure damage, no rot in it, so. Um, we went ahead to purchase, used it for three, four years, loved it. Um, it's got the 575 SCIs in it. It's got the Conrad 640s on it. It's great, you know, love the boat. Um, so we decided that we were gonna get into it and figure out you know, what we had going on with the exterior. So it turned into quite a big project. Um, we sanded down an area we, you know, where we had the cracks, got down. And when you get down to the gel coat, there is no, there is no cracks in the lower layer of gel coat. And then once you get to the glass, they're completely drawn. Um, and these are all just abrasive 36 marks. But um, you know, even as you get up into the glass a little more, there's nothing. So they're into the paint. The boat has two layers of paint on it. Um, you know, we had a pretty large area down here that had some spider cracking in it, as you can see. You know, it, it, it runs about six feet. You know, it, really, it was really concerning to look at, you know, when I was buying the boat. But like I said, we found nothing inside. But as you get down and you pick a spot to sand and grind, you can see we have, you know, lots of cracks here. You get into the first layer of paint. This is actually an old silver that they had on it. Gel coat, which you can see the cracks kind of disappear. You got the abrasive sanding marks. And then you get down to the glass and there's no cracks in the glass. So all these cracks are just in the two layers of paint job that they put on the boat. Um, you know, this boat was ran in uh, Lake Michigan its entire life. So there's some big rollers out there, but I was happy to see that it's not in the structure at all. Um, there is one spot up here the size of your fist. There's an impact zone, and they are a little bit into the glass. It's a, it's a circle about this big, maybe. Um, I got up in the boat, and I figured out why, and I'll show you guys that. Total repaint job we're going to do on this thing. We put a brand new transom in it, three layers, a half inch, all glassed in real nice. Um, this boat just had a lot of re-rigging in its past. I bought it with no motors. So I put the 575s in it. Um, it. It was a little wet, you know, around the drive on this side. Um, I knew that when I bought it. You know, by no means was it bad, but, um, you know, the boat had two or three sets of exhaust holes drilled into it at a time. Some dry exhaust stuff put in. It just, it had a lot going on in the back. So we decided that it was best to put a brand new transom in it, start fresh, we know what we have. Um, you know, we already have the real nice interior, as you guys saw in the other videos, we redid all that. Um, so real nice transom. We're gonna smooth the bilge all out. We do run that uh, 575 hatch on this boat, modified for this straight bottom. And coming inside, um, as you saw in the previous videos, we do have an electric slider on this door. Obviously that's all out for modification and paint. And now we're down to this side here. I'm working on getting this dash piece out. And in my next video, I'll show you why and how that's coming. Uh, tune back in.